you, baby. It's not your fault. No, honey, everything's going to be okay. Yes. I just, I, I just thought that they were vitamins. I thought that they would help him. I don't understand this. Oh, you will, honey. You will just as soon as you find out how Dr. Hilliard knew about Spike in the first place. Doctor, at one point, maybe, but not anymore. You know Hilliard? We met at the Betty Ford Center. We were both in rehab together. He lost his medical license because he prescribed painkillers to himself. So how do you find us? Someone told him about Spike. And that same person paid him to contact Kendall. Who? Greenlee. Thank you for going with me to see him. Didn't start what's going on in your head, now, did it? You know how they say your life flashes before your eyes? Well, I saw Spike's life. Him well again. Hearing. Me telling everyone the good news, that Spike is okay, and... him hearing my voice, calling me mommy, asking me to read him another book. It could still happen. Anaphylactic shock. Potentially fatal. All because of Dr. Hilliard's vitamins. On well, the doctor's defense, even Joe said there's no way he could have known about the allergy. What am I supposed to do, Zach? Am I supposed to just bring him back to Dr. Hilliard and forget that the man played a sick joke that I completely fell for? I, I, can't, I could never hear his voice and not think about what he did to Spike. Well, that Greenlee started this whole thing. Again. Greenlee? I do. We all do, don't we? Last year at this time, when, when, I, when I first had Spike and I brought him home, I asked my mother, I, I asked her, how do I protect him? No mother more protective. Well, she told me I had to raise him to be a part of this world not to be afraid of it. Was I too afraid? Was I not afraid enough? I mean, how did this happen to my little boy? Why are you doing this? Zach, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to pretend that last night didn't happen? Am I supposed to pretend that, that Spike didn't almost die? This one isn't on Greenlee. It's on me. Zach. You can't even tell me that I didn't. Don't do this. No, I failed him. I did. When I brought him home for the first time when he was just a tiny baby, I was afraid to even hold him. He was so tiny and fragile, like I might break him. Mess it all up the way I messed everything up. And the world, it's just such a very scary place. I mean, look at the news today. Look at the papers. The fear that I have is still inside of me. I mean, sometimes it's, it's buried deep down, but it's always there. I'm supposed to be our baby's safe place. Me. The one place, the one place where everything is okay. I haven't been Spike's safe place since, since I told Greenlee to take him to the ER. Your love is what keeps Spike safe. He did it for Spike, for me, for Ian, for all of us. I just, I thought I could fix him. I thought I could fix him and make him whole again. So I, I grabbed at miracles. Who cares that there's no such thing? Who cares what you and Ryan and every real doctor knew about Spike's condition? I didn't want to see it. I didn't want to hear it. And because of that, I didn't see the real threat to my son. And that real threat is me. 
Not a threat to our boys. What are you talking about? But you don't know when to quit. That's what I like about you. You like me? Yeah. yeah. I like you. <laughs> So does Spike. Well, what do you get these ideas in your head, you know? And they're always a little crazy, a little irrational, but you get them done somehow. And you have faith. I just, I just want to make a good life for Spike. All right. So let's keep doing what we're doing. Ryan's going to throw money at biotech research, and we'll do our part. We'll, we'll check into cochlear implants. Zach, no, there are so many things about I know. these implants that I know. You can't go in the like. ocean. You can't go in the bath. Yes, and what about the schools? It's that not, not ideal. I know. I know all that. This is not the life that I promised for Spike. I told him. I said, Spike, I will give you a perfect life. I will make it amazing for you. I mean, the, the, before he was even born on the yacht with you, you helped me. You helped me want to do that for him. A lot of things can happen in time. Right now, the best option we have is us. Together. Ryan, Annie, me, and you. You gotta do this for Spike. 